So making our video today, we're here to talk about why someone or anyone would want to live in the San Antonio metro area. We want to talk about all the cool things that there is to do here and highlight one particular spot that I want everyone to know about, which is the Pearl Brewery. And what the Pearl is, is essentially it's an old company where they used to make beer, right? And they used to brew this here on site. And since then the brewery shut down, but they reconverted all of it into this amazing hangout with local shops, local restaurants, events. They've got this cool green lawn that we're gonna check out. And so, so much more. The space is amazing. So today we're gonna walk around. We're gonna see just a little bit of what the Pearl has to offer and see what you think. The Pearl is located right on the San Antonio River. And this river will actually continue to carry on all the way from here, all the way to downtown and go all the way along the famed river walk that we are real popular and real known for in this area. So it's a really, really cool experience. Let's check out what else the Pearl has to offer besides this amazing river. We've got two of the top restaurants here, which is Boiler House behind me and then Monchuchu. Monchuchu is an amazing French brasserie. If you've ever uh, had a chance to partake, very authentic, definitely got to check it out. Uh, and then Boiler House offers a, a lot of cool, like kind of different dishes. One of the better spots to check out when you're here downtown at the Pearl. All right, guys, another cool spot behind me here on our tour of the Pearl is the Culinary Institute of America. This is one of satellite campuses. So again, if you're trying to get a bachelor's degree or even a master's degree that they offer in fine arts of cooking and all the things culinary, satellite campus here at the Pearl. So you get to experience all the great shopping and food and just the vibes and the hangouts of the Pearl and also learn and get your degree. Not a bad spot. This is the ultimate hangout spot here at the Pearl. The Great Lawn, it's a big green lawn where people are able to just kind of relax. And during COVID, they had the, the social distancing circles that's since been removed and now it's a free for all and definitely a really, really cool attraction down here at the Pearl. So no matter what you're doing, whether you're hanging out, you're shopping, you're dining or anything in between, definitely this is a spot where you want to be. A lot of the festivals and a lot of the things that they do down here all center around this location right here. And so there's a lot of uh, residential stuff here at the Pearl. A lot of the businesses are on the first floor, right? You walk around and you shop at the local businesses. And then on top of the businesses, they have apartments and, and things where you can kind of rent and live. But if you want to live where you hang out, great options here at the Pearl. All right, when you're looking for something that's a little bit more than the food hall, but you're looking for something that's a little less serious than your sit down reservation restaurants and full on table service, you have Bakery Lorraine more casual hangout french inspired bakery where you're able to kind of come in and get your bread items right your baked items baked goods definitely a can't miss on your next stop to the pearl there are a ton of great shops small boutiques and so many cool places to see we just don't have time to feature every single one of them on this video we have all sorts of different things from your clothing boutiques to a music store lots of different options for people that want to come and have a casual afternoon here and hit the store so again Definitely don't miss out some of these shops. They're really, really cool. And a lot of them are locally owned. So as you guys know, the days of Borders, Half Price Books, uh, Barnes and Nobles are slowly and slowly going away. And so the Twiggy is neat because it's able to kind of bring some of that back. It's located right next to the lawn and to Bakery Rain. So you can actually come over here, check out one of the many offerings that the Twig has, pick up a book, and enjoy a casual sit down coffee, either on the lawns or at Bakery Lorraine, where you can have a relaxing afternoon. So definitely don't miss the twig out on your next stop at the Pearl. Behind me is one of the cooler buildings here at the Pearl. It's actually called the Pearl Stables. They might be renaming it, that's what it was called, but the Stables building here uh, used to be an event center. So you would rent it out for like company Christmas parties and, and different events that they would do here at the Stables. I came to a couple uh, for a big mortgage company here in town. They had some great holiday parties here. And so anyway, since then, they've kind of shut down the event hall and now they're actually reopening it as a music hall. So you're going to have a lot of live concerts here, live music, live venue, adding so much more to this already packed space with so many cool offerings. Now you can come down here Friday, Saturday nights, catch a concert and have a great time afterwards at the local shops, restaurants and bars that exist down here at the Pearl. All right, another really unique restaurant here at the Pearl that I want to highlight behind me is Cured. And so Cured is definitely not for your average everyday picky eater. If you were somebody that wants more of your American classics, not here. But if you want a great culinary experience and something that's a little bit outside the box, Cured has it for you. They offer a lot of different dry aged meats. They actually offer like a dry aged pork leg that's in there. It's like on display in their little dry aged case. They've got quail. They've got all sorts of kind of different animals that you wouldn't normally expect to eat when you go to sit down and kind of have a meal. Uh, Cured features that. 
They've got a great happy hour and different great specials to try some of these things out, charcuterie, uh, and of course their dinner service is incredible. So if you're wanting something a little bit more adventurous, not your everyday fare, we have it here in San Antonio at Cured right behind me. This is one of the largest restaurants by footprint in this area, which is down on Grayson. Really excellent restaurant. They've got a big bar, lots of different draft beers on tap, and their menu is to die for. So many good items on here. My personal favorite is the onion rings that they serve. They're those real tiny, thin, like almost like looking like shoestring fries, onion rings. This is one you can't miss. One of my personal favorites here at The Pearl. All right, let's highlight a little bit of nightlife content here at The Pearl behind me with no sign, no fanfare is one of the cool bars that are in the area, Blue Box. So this bar is really cool. It's got like an upstairs area and then a big like lower downstairs as well. Big bar top, all sorts of different alcohols and liquor. Plus it's got this cool outdoor seating area as well. When it's nice out, it's great to sit out here, have a drink and have a great time. So check out Blue Box. Again, really cool nightlife spot here at the Pearl. Uh, one of our favorite things to do when we're in town. Another stop here, actually across the street from the Pearl Complex, You've got Pearl Street Church right here. Uh, this church is really, really awesome to go to. I've attended service here. Uh, one of my good friends, their family is a pastor on staff here, and this is where they go. But it's a really, really great location, located again, just across the Pearl. Um, if you're looking for the good word of Jesus, this is where you can get that and more at this church. Great community, uh, really, really awesome services that they have on Sunday. And uh, they've actually done so well that they're gonna be expanding and moving to a new building soon. But for right now, you can catch them here at The Pearl. Definitely check them out and don't miss it. Okay, so really good timing when we made this video. We talked about how there's a lot of events and different things that happens down here near The Pearl. This is a really good example. It's first week of December and up behind me, open, already running. It's Friday afternoon and people are already on the ice. Is the San Antonio ice rink right here. Really, really cool spot set up seasonally, of course, to come out, bring your family, have a great time, ice skating, get some hot chocolate and have a great, great time here in San Antonio. So you don't have to go all the way up north where it's cold. I'm wearing a t-shirt today. People are out there on the ice having a great time and you can too. Definitely don't miss this if you're in season here in the December winter months, definitely check out this ice rink behind me. Behind me is one of the parking lot options for the Pearl. This is actually underneath one of the large highways here, Highway 281 that goes all the way north up into town. So underneath the highway, they have these parking lots here. During the day from Monday through Thursday, from like the hours of like 10 to two, parking's free. You come down here, park in one of these lots, you don't actually have to pay to park. Friday, Saturday, Sundays, all day. Uh, and then on Monday through Thursday, after hours, pay to park, you scan with your phone. About $10 is about the, the payment that they charge for the uh, unlimited hours, right? Where you're not having a time limit here. And you can park in one of these lots, scan on your phone, pay and go. If these lots are full, or you're going to the other side of the Pearl, kind of where some of the restaurants and things are in Hotel Emma, they have a second parking lot over there that's a premium lot, same thing, where you can park in a space, open air, scan to pay, and then they actually have a parking garage over there as well. If you are coming to these lots, if these lots are full, the Credit Human building across the street also offers a paid parking garage uh, where it's covered as well. So lots of different options if you're wanting to park. And of course, there's always the option to park and walk further down. Uh, there's some streets where there is no reserved parking and you can just find a, a corner and, and park legally, of course, right, where the signs are not. And you can walk over here but we definitely recommend parking close so you're not killing yourself on your walk. All right, guys, so our last stop on our amazing tour of the Pearl, all the things nearby and all the things to do it behind me is one of the marquee centerpieces of the whole place, which is Hotel Emma. So Hotel Emma is actually a luxury hotel located right on the banks of the San Antonio River, right here at the heart of the Pearl. And it's actually the only five diamond hotel that exists in Texas. Room rates vary on a Friday night in December. You know, you're anywhere from four to $600 a night for a room. So again, prices on the higher end for a hotel, but it is five-star luxury and it is excellent. 146 rooms in this hotel. So it's not a huge, massive Hilton or any of those other ones with a million floors, a million rooms. It's quaint, it's quiet, and it's awesome. What used to be an old brew house is now an amazing luxury hotel. So definitely don't miss Hotel Emma out. If you're somebody that wants to travel in style, in luxury, and have a great experience, memorable at a hotel, Hotel Emma has everything that you have to offer here at The Pearl. All right, guys, so that's it. That's our video of The Pearl. Again, if we left your business off, uh, no, hard, no, no hard feelings, right? We just try to feature as many places as we could as possible. As again, my name is Chris Marty, guys, local real estate expert in San Antonio, one of the top agents for the last seven, eight years running, uh, top five agents in San Antonio. So if you're looking to move here, you want information on the market, whether it's primary investment, renting, or anything in between, please reach out. 
And again, if there's any comments or questions that you have about this content or this video, leave a, your question in the comments below. We'll get back to you or reach out to the website. I'm happy to provide any more information about San Antonio and things to do here. As always, guys, my name is Chris Marty, also known as The Rebate Guy. Please like and subscribe to our channel and follow us for more amazing content.